I tell my patients that having a baby isn't like getting a puppy. It's for the rest of your life. Okay. Give me a little credit, please. I'm just saying that people tend to think of a baby as a bundle of joy. Don't get me wrong. There is joy, and a lot of it, and boundless love, and tedium, and frustration, and panic, and that is before they hit their teens. If it were easy, there wouldn't be so many screwed up kids in the world. That's my point. There's a lot of baggage that goes with taking on the responsibility of parenthood. Especially single parenthood. Especially because I'm HIV positive. I know that. It's not going to be easy, but I want to be a mother. I'm so You've done the research. Medically speaking, there's not much I can tell you about the complications you'll face if you get pregnant. I have a feeling this isn't a lecture on medical complications. Think of me as the voice of reason. An HIV-positive woman getting pregnant is hard enough, but doing it all alone... I have no argument for me. I, I mean, believe me, I would much rather have a family with the man that I love, but... <laughs> Patrick has commitment issues. We couldn't get past them. Okay, this is not how I wanted this to end. Obviously, I still love him. Exactly. You're going through a painful breakup. Maybe this isn't the time to be making big decisions. No, no, I have to move on. Patrick certainly did. I mean, he couldn't wait to hook up with Layla. I mean, if that doesn't tell me, I have to move on. Maybe a baby will help you along? <sighs> That's what concerns me, Robin. That this baby is supposed to fill some void that Patrick left. Breaking up with Patrick put everything in perspective for me. He told me from the beginning that he didn't want children. But I wanted the relationship to work, so I told myself that it didn't matter. And then when we had that pregnancy scare and I saw his reaction, I mean... When Patrick looks down the road, he does not see himself as a father, and he doesn't see himself with me. Can you really judge him by one near miss? When the test came up negative, I realized that I wanted to be pregnant. Patrick, on the other hand, was doing somersaults. Since then, it's been a gradual realization that I do want to have a child, and I can't give that up to make him happy. And nor should Patrick have a child to make me happy. Our lives are headed in different directions, and it hurts, but... I can't let that paralyze me. I want to be a mom, and everything that goes with it. My HIV status is a huge consideration. I would deliver the baby C-section to avoid blood contact, and we would monitor the baby, and the chances of passing along the virus are minimal. I'm financially independent. I have a family support system. All the pieces are in place. You're just missing one thing. Who will be the father of your little miracle? I let myself fantasize about being pregnant. There was always a man in the picture. There still could be. You never know if you don't ask. Well, I already know what Patrick will say. Some people will say, maybe he'll get used to the idea. Or maybe when he sees the baby, he'll fall in love. But really, if I were to get pregnant with Patrick's child, I would end up a single mom. And now it turns out, that's what I want after all. I can recommend a reputable sperm bank. I'd rather find someone that I know. Um... Someone who's progressive enough to understand that I want to raise this child on my own and not feel pressured. Someone smart, someone funny and kind. Start writing. We're going to make a list of potential fathers. You're serious? Yeah, I mean, you have to start somewhere, right? <clears throat> we know a ton of great guys. Whose genes do you want to mix with yours? <laughs> mm, Leo? Excellent. <laughs> Andy? Sure. How were drinks at the Metro Card? Did you two have a good time? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you and Andy were... Oh, no. We're not. Oh, no. I'm fine. You were so not fine. <gasps> Give me I'm that. I'm fine. Okay. Scratch Andy. Andy. Um, Nicholas? Oh. Strong. Smart, mm -hmm. smoking hot. Mm. Rich. Kelly. I'm just saying, it couldn't hurt. <gasps> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, there's Lucky. <gasps> Jax. Ooh. Yes, there are definite perks to picking Jax. Mm. I don't suppose that being rich is one of them? No, the look on Carly's face when she finds out that I'm asking her husband to be the father of my baby would be priceless. <laughs> okay, so... Let's use our imaginations. Okay, light. 
Eli Love. No way. Oh, God. No, no, no. He is just artistic and he's gorgeous. Those eyes. Yeah, they're exactly like Patrick's father's eyes. Oh, that would be interesting. No, that would be icky. Okay. Um, you're friends with Sonny Carentos. Bet he'd volunteer some of his DNA. Hmm. Well, Sonny was like a big brother to Stone. That would just be incestuous, right? No, you can't have that. No. There's always Jason. But I don't think he wants to be a test tube father. He would want to have an active part in his child's life, so that wouldn't work. No. Sweat, Jason. How about that hunky guy that works for him? Um, Max. Max? I am thinking outside the box here. Max is a cutie pie, and he is a <laughs> physical specimen. Hey, come on. It's just a list. Okay, yeah, outside the box. Wait, outside the box? Like in cyberspace. Spinelli. <gasps> oh my god, that would be so crazy. That would be. <laughs> but you know, he's a total original, and he's a genius. I love this list. <laughs> this is kind of weird. One of these guys could actually be my baby's father. Is that the patient you want me to consult on? Jean O'Connell. She's had a relapse. She's complaining of side effects from the meds. Did you request another panel? She'll be back from the lab in any moment. Do you want me to follow up on that read of Scopia? Thanks, Nurse Murray. I'll let you know when I need you. Okay. Let's go see the patient. Um, found this on the floor. Fell out of Dr. Scorpio's papers. Yeah, it looks like Robin's writing Leo, Andy. Yeah, but Dr. Archer's name's crossed out. Nicholas, Lucky, Jacks. Jason's crossed out, too. Well, whatever party Robin's having, looks like we didn't get invited. Drop this. Hmm? Oh, is this something important? No. Guess my invitation got lost in the mail. Oh, you got an invitation. You turned it down already. Come on. Might as well put it out there now. They'll find out eventually. <sighs> it's a list of potential fathers for my baby. 